All right, if you just joined us or you're still with us, this is still Enterprise Morning, reaching you from Enterprise Television. Let's have our conversation. Dada Olushegun, special assistant to the president on social media, has dismissed claims that Tinibu is an asset of America's foreign intelligence organization, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Journalist David Hunting had asserted this, referencing a legal filing in which the CIA FBI and DEA were said to have posed a request to release records related to Tinubu's drug trafficking investigation. According to Contenye, the CIA's response indirectly confirmed Tinubu as a CIA asset, citing concerns over national security. The filing stated that confirming or denying such records could endanger all the individuals who have interacted with the supposed asset and potentially compromise the United States' intelligence efforts. In response, Olusha will criticize the allegations and likening them to previous claims he believes were false or exaggerated. Posting on his ex platform, Olusha marked past unproven accusations about Tinibu, such as claims about his identity and eligibility to enter the United States. He expressed his disbelief at the public's repeated acceptance of such claims for suggesting that these latest CIA-related accusation is similarly baseless. <laughs> Very funny if you ask me, but the question is, how more baseless can baseless be? And it's very important that I state this, that frankly for us here at Enterprise Television, we take the view that a story of this nature shouldn't even qualify for a major conversation. But the fact that the presidency has lashed on it and the public deserves a thorough, a factual clarification. And that's what we are about to do here. Doing that with us still um, in the studio is Cyril Nabaku, journalist and public affairs analyst. And joining us right about now is Emeka Madunaku, journalist and also public affairs analyst. Thank you so very much, gentlemen, for being yeah, here with thank us. Thank you. Hello, you. Yes. So, uh, Emeka, let me start off with you. Um, looking at um, this finding, um, it is still a little bit edgy here and there. But we'll speak to us on, on this as a journalist who had carried out investigative work and you understand the real demands to speak to us. Well, thank you very much. <coughs> David Unay, as we know, is um, an investigative journalist of records. Mm. You know, so he's someone, he's, he's not someone whose uh, views or whose reports, you know, any right thinking person would take lightly. You know, uh, because time and again, he has brought to the fore, you know, issues about, you know, um, corruption. His governance and you know some other aspects, you know, not just about Nigeria but other nations. And to that extent, is someone whose believability, whose believability is at a high level. So, definitely, for him to have said this, you know, um, definitely proves that there is a point <coughs> in it. Um, I am not enamored you know, of um, presidential aides, you know, just coming to throw. Their usual, you know, gibberish and insults at people. You know, um, if there is one thing that Nigerian media aides, you know, need to learn, they need to be taken to, 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 you know, to finishing school to learn public communication, mm. decent public communication. You know, um, when people think they can, you know, show how lowly, how badly brought up they are. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, by taking it into public office, then it's just a sad situation. So, what does decent public communication mean in this particular case? You saw what he was saying. How would it have been handled you when you talk about decent you, public communication? You address the issue. You don't sit magisterially over the opinions of Nigerians. You have no right to do that. Ah, that uh, we, I believe in the exaggerated. Or false. When you say they are exaggerated, that means to some extent they are true. When you say they are false, that means to some extent they may be true, but some aspect are false. We are, <laughs> we are specialists in public communication. So, just like we say, journalism, there are no comment, it's a comment. Mm -hmm. You know? So, that, <clears throat> look at what he said, that he believes. I am not under any obligation to latch on to his belief. 
address the issue. When we talk about the CIA assets, of course, thankfully some people have come, have come out to you know, bring out the aspirations of CIA assets. You know, and if this was inconsequential, they wouldn't have you know responded to. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what Enterprise TV did has even you know drawn out, drawn them out the more. Why? They try to downscale it. You know, in public communication, there are hierarchies. They do not try to downscale it by giving it to a lowly aid. You know, mm -hmm. to just put, you know, normally, the special advisor on media, to the president, mm -hmm. would have jumped. Mm -hmm. you know, because he's always, yeah. defend, he's always in a hurry mm -hmm. to throw physics all over the place. Mm -hmm. But maybe he was one stay off. The other fellow that just got the Sunday diary. I don't know, that's his designation. Is this, you know, special assistant for orientation or something? You know, there are so many of some. Yeah. You know, pardon me. Yeah. But you really would have jumped in. Mm. Or the ABC, you yeah. know, uh, their spokesman, uh, Felix Mocker, yeah. would have jumped in. Yeah. Or some other people, you know, one of those idle ministers, you know, would have jumped in. But what did you see? It was a lowly presidential aid. They just said, okay, just release. So that, that tells you, it rattled them, no doubt. But you see, when you are trying to respond to issues, you got to be careful so that you don't validate, strongly validate what has been said about you. It's all part of, you know, techniques in public communication. All right. Um, Sri Lapaku, the magnanimity of this allegation is profound. It's so, so big. Some people would call it more like a sovereign espionage of a, a, a president of a country, you know, <laughs> you know, looking into his own country to maybe implode it or something. Speak to us more on this, especially as it concerns um, public relations. How has it been handled? How would it have been handled better? Is the claims true? Is it factual? If it's true, what? Speak to us. Well, you and I <coughs> are in Nigeria here, so... Uh, but I have to say that when I saw the story yesterday, I, I could barely suppress the feeling I had, which is really to say that, you know, the allegation is, 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 is grave. That when he had use words like assets, those are the euphemisms they use in spycraft. Asset means agent. Mm. Agent means a spy. Spy means somebody who steals information, who can do anything to get information from a source for the master. And, you know, even among them, they have categories. There are those who are spy masters who run rings. Somebody can come to a country, come to a locality and set up a, set up tradecraft, hire people. And you will never know. Blind spot or blind spot, you will never know how. But believe me that everything happening, they are aware. Mm. They see through it. Now, to say that our president, the president of the country, is a spy for another country, that's a very good... It means that he, he does not have a mind of his own. Mm -hmm. He does not have any thought of his own. He is doing whatever he is told mm. to do. And that there's no national security. Mm. That everything that we are doing in Nigeria... What sort of um, uh, soldiers do we have? How many do we have? What bullets are we using? What armory? Whatever. Every because he's declaring he, he's the he's the chief. He, he's commander in chief. He means every every intelligence Nigeria gathers. He's like a citizen. Everything just passes through, right down to his paymasters. Could that really be true? Our president is a wealthy man. A lot of times, spies are developed or they say, or, or worked, as they say. You work a source and worked either with a lot of money, inducement, or blackmail. These are the two most easy tools they use. Mm. So what could they use to blackmail the president? I don't know. So what do you think they most nah, use? Uh, if, 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 if the story is true. true. Yes, yeah. because from, from... And like you rightly said in the intro, in all sincerity, I would have read this story and just walked away. Mm. And just said, you know what? Let's not even talk about it. Because it's unthinkable. Yeah. But the fact that that you know latched onto it, I said, okay, let's we might as well. Yeah, since it's in the, the public domain yes, already, and so if only to get the public to. So personally, I would rather not believe okay. that it was true that our pres that our president is a spy for another country. You know what that means? How did he even win it? How did he even you know go? How did the SS didn't know about it? 
the DIA didn't didn't check it out. Our NIA didn't check it out. They didn't flag it. Nobody knew anything. He just is that even really possible? But let's not pretend they don't know about it. As journalists, as media people, the story, even prior, no, no, to, uh, prior to election and its emerging as a president, this story has been there. Even if it's rumor, it's, it's, it's been there. No, so it's, it's the actually point. not new. See, see the point they make. You know, there was money about drug money in the U.S., then it, drug for feature for no, I'm coming. Uh, I'm Which coming. is factual. It, 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 established. Yes. it came to a matter of for feature. Okay. Which means there was participation. Mm -hmm. If I money, it means the money was paid to you. It means there was participation. So crime was done. Of course. Okay. Well, it was committed. There, there was participation. Oh, no, they said it was a civil case, so not a criminal that's, case. That's, 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 that's the problem. <laughs> but the point is, the money was forfeited. Okay. You don't forfeit money if there was no question mark mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Okay, there was a forfeiture, right? That's one. Number two. So which means there was participation. Mm -hmm. And it was not a legitimate business because the question was based on what you're earning and what we find in a bank account. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that there was an eco it was incongruent, which means something that should not have happened had happened. But the way somebody explained it to me at the point was to say that for the matter to have been committed to be civil, and the fact that the forfeiture took place nonetheless. It may have, it, it, may, it, it suggested to that, to the fellow who told me this, that maybe it was a sting operation after all. Okay. A sting operation is an operation in which you are authorized to take part, to, 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 to take part in a criminal venture, as it were, or in an activity, let me in, in an activity, so that if, if, if it is able to draw in the real culprits, to, okay. to hope that they can participate with you. Uh -huh. You use that as a means to arrest them. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, but for you to, if even we are, to say it was a sting operation in which he participated by authorization, mm -hmm. question would be, who then gave the authorization? And didn't that mean some form of recruitment into, but, I mean, because, which brings us to, which, which brings us to this discussion we're having today. <laughs> <laughs> because all of this, all of this, um, yeah, 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 yeah. all of this fleshing out. Because the fleshing out of all of this is brings us to yeah, yeah. say what you want to say. What you want to say? It say it again. I don't want to believe. Okay, no, you know, yes. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> because he actually I'm made. A, I am an informed public com commentator. There is something you are not saying. Say it. Which brings you to the, to the. I mean, this was even somebody's own guess. Perfect. That if it was a thing operation, mm. that possibly, you know. So that is where we are. Okay. Uh, but again, let it be said mm. that even when I don't want to believe that that is what it is, for such. Matters to be over and around our president mm -hmm. is not a very good thing. The maker has said it that if you say exaggeration, it means there is believability, believability to an extent. Why even to an extent? A, a president, it, it was the reason Boris Johnson was kicked out of office. You are organizing people, people say people shouldn't travel, shouldn't organize parties, yeah. but if I turn down the street, yes. eating cheese, cake, wine, <laughs> and so on. Mm -hmm. So, the person intervened Johnson in the interval, it said the government, the prime minister's office should have been the, it should have given uh, uh, Britons the most extreme moral example mm. of how a thing should be done. Mm. They can take their convergence and divergence from you. But the fact that you now came to do what you told others not to do. Mm. So for a president to even have such rumors around him and rumors that have a bit of um, what can so us to begin to ask further questions isn't for me the best place for us to be. Mm. But I maintain that it is an unthinkable thing mm. because the ramifications of having uh, somebody at that level uh, is, 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 is something that um, should not be taken lightly at all. All right. Um, Emeka, when a, 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 a president, someone in this capacity, Sorbonne's, um, you know, it's alleged to have committed this sort of, um, you know, a crime, it's, it's obviously treasonable. 
which of course gives rise to impeachment and so on. We've seen it in different countries of the world. In fact, Donald Trump, who is currently the president, who has been elected as the, pre the president, hopefully to be sworn in um, January, um, was accused of having one or two... He, um, Donald Trump was convicted. Yes. They convicted felon. Yes. Let's, please, let's state facts. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. It's not a deodorant. Yes. They convicted. Yes. So the, the the reason I actually brought him in this discussion was because of his um, a bit of um, interference with Russia, with Vladimir Putin, and all that, which of course they questioned why that should be the case. Now, in this particular issue, where our president is alleged to be an agent of the CIA, don't you think it's very important for the National Assembly to start having a conversation on <laughs> on issues like like this, and equally, you know, bringing to the table treason, like he had always used against other people, especially the protesters. Even now, children. Yeah. Well, I'll address... No, that, that one is a conversation of another day. Well, I'll address the issues one by one. This arose from the court filings about Tinubu's alleged activities at the certain time in the United States. So, it's about Bola Tinubu at that time. His alleged involvement in drug trafficking. At that time. Hmm. So at that time, there were issues around his alleged participation in the business. So that is what, but along the line now, he has become president. Mm -hmm. So at that time, definitely the drug enforcement agency and other agencies that were involved in that matter, you know, would have flagged him, you know, would have flagged him as a person of interest you know, to all security agencies, including mm -hmm. the CIA. Mm -hmm. Now, based on the forfeiture, maybe there were terms which we have not seen, that, okay, that didn't preclude him from entering the United States. You know, the, the people in, I, I've told the people in the presidential media team that one thing you people lack is, you know, strategic thinking. You just think you're on the streets, you know, like you're at a newspaper stand, free reader sensation. And that is the way you deliver. You should instead of you to go and sit down and think, ask questions, ask experts to advise you. You just come and throw things that even make people get the real gist of what is going on, like what has happened in this week, like that, that whichever. So now we have become president. The key thing is this. For that now, which happened to be saying that uh, he's shocked and I just did it. David Uday clearly stated the source. He said, court filings. So it is now in your place to go and say that there were no court filings. Okay. Or, okay, if there were court filings, why not ask the Attorney General of the Federation you know, of Nigeria to go and file, you know, join the matter as an interested party mm. so that you can now, you know, file a counter defense to say so, 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 and so, and so, and so, that... Tinubu is not a CIA asset. That so so so, so the drug for future, he was not involved in it at all. Mm. If that is your own position, yeah. that so 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 go and fight. That is the clear logical thing to do. So that <laughs> when you fight it, then the onus will now be on those who made the you know who made the filings in the first place. That is the plaintiffs. Then the defendants, that's the CIA, the FBI, the Department of Justice, the Drug Enforcement Agency, and other agencies, you know, to now come and say, to this extent, this is this, to this extent, this is this, to this extent, this is this. You are not doing that. What you are just doing is just trying to appeal, just, you know, bring up a straw man's argument, you know, trying to appeal to, you know, popular sentiment, you know, like a kind of, um, you know, gist of the market. But this is a serious matter concerning the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So the only thing is that this is not a rumor. David Hunden clearly said it's from court filing. So the best thing is you go there and enter an appearance. Do the legal thing. Mm. Enter an appearance. File affidavits, necessary affidavits or counter affidavits. You know, on each point to say this, 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 and this, and this. That is it. So that in that way, it will not be left for the court to decide. Because these are just filings and counter filings. It will not be left for the court. Because if, at the end of the day, the court 
Besides that, no, CIA, you must disclose the extent of his being an asset to you. That is more trouble. Okay. But for now, that is still safer. It's mm -hmm. still at the level of what finding. I don't go to the level of, you know, maybe this is just at the level of, you know, filing applications mm -hmm. and all that. It has not got to the level of ruling, you know, of the court taking a decision. Mm -hmm. Remember that was the same mistake we made in the case of Zonshan. Yeah, Zonshan for Shen. Zonshan for Shen. The same mistake we made in the case of Zonshan for Shen. When we had enough time to have taken up issues, what did our people do? Those guys went to court. They caught in Nigeria. They caught <laughs> three away their mother. Then, the people in government in Ogusel at that time now use police to harass them. Mm. So they were not helping those people to, to build their own case. case yeah. And eventually, eventually, you, you forgot that there was a bilateral agreement with China in 2001 that had certain terms. Then those guys now went abroad. Now, in the bilateral agreement between Nigeria and China, any dispute has to resolve at just one point, either locally in Nigeria mm -hmm. or in a foreign court. But those guys were able to prove that their attempt to resolve it in Nigeria mm. came to nothing, was apparently influenced by state power. Mm. So that strengthened their case elsewhere. Mm. And look at what they got. Have you heard the federal government talk about the aircraft mm. anymore? The aircraft are gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. Except the one that was released to His Excellency. Mm, that one was released because there wasn't any IOTA. You know, that anything that connected it to a commercial transaction. The other two were sent there clearly to be sold. For me, what they were saying that they were sent for maintenance. Not at all. That just is, you know, just a right. tale for the pets. Mm. You know, they were sent there to be sold. And that was why those people were able to get that order mm. to seize those aircraft. Because they were intelligent. As, uh, so, what are you talking about? So, to that extent, mm. beginning from that point, mm. Down to now. What it tells you is that the CIA and those secret agencies have not closed their file on volatility. Oh, okay. So when they say it's an asset, hmm. that means it's somebody of interest, is a person of interest to security agencies in the US. Yeah, yes, it's left, it's left, it's left, it's yes. It's hmm. left to them. Hmm. Even though he's president of Nigeria, it may not necessarily mean that he's a spy. Or that mm. he's doing anything with them. It may only mean that that the file on him mm. eh, is still open. Mm. That they don't come to a point where they feel they should close it. And so, disclosing mm. information in that file, you know, where you see that it's still active, that it's still open, might jeopardize future investigations. All right, very well. Now, while you speak on what, um, um, like I said, I would love you to add to, to this. The place of the United States in global politics. Um, after the elections, of course, in Nigeria, uh, February 25th uh, presidential election, which every Nigerian um, resident in Nigeria saw what happened, of course, uh, it was very surprising that the United States you know, came and, con and congratulated Bola Ahmed Chinibu. Yes, ex 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 exactly. The same United States, right, would not congratulate the president of Venezuela. After he won, he was re-elected as the president and rather chose the opposition to take over. They really wanted. Now, speaking to this, especially as it connects the place of the United States in global politics, how does this work? Is it very true that they pick, hand pick who they decide would not ah, work for yeah. them? You check all through history now, not today. They, they are, these matters, these are very, I have to say, these are very, very sensitive issues. Anybody who is familiar with the world of um, espionage, spycraft, and so on um, is a very sensitive area to talk about, and I'm careful about it. Mm. But the reality is that, um, let me start with where yeah, America yeah. let's stop. So, David Hunde Institute was deductive, was an inference. Okay. That is why I don't want to build anything on any, on, on inferential. So, for example, he said, because of what they Agencies filed in court in DC. The meaning, the implication is okay, that mean, okay. it could only mm. mean that this man is one of us. You can't expose him. It will affect. That's the inference he is drawing. Okay. 
and that is in the inference. They, you know, sometimes if your logic is sound, people will buy into it mm -hmm. willingly. It, it's it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm a bit more critical, and that's why I've said that all the things I've said since beginning of the show that to even hear such a thing being said from the get go should be quickly slammed. But then we're in such times, aren't we? So everything is on the table. Nothing is taken off the table. Um, during the presidential campaign, we came one day boldly shouted and said, "I think we should leave." That people are threatening to use the CIA against him. That to help with the CIA. You know, he said uh, uh, yes, and then the cable reported that time that uh, articles are there's where they put that Ali was a former Nigerian NSA had ties to the C you know that's what they had ties. Now, country to country relations based on security are such in which if you have if a friendly country you can share intelligence. Mm -hmm. The DSS spotted and uh, it, it, it would be suicide bomber in America and Nigeria before he flew and preferred the American they were very happy that you know we and uh, that we spotted such a thing mm -hmm. and told them. So if and, and I think America is Nigeria's friend, really. So we can always share ideas and talk about what we know, what we've seen, what could affect you, and so on. That uh, on that level, collaboration is inevitable. But where somebody has now gone under the table, taking money, and is now using a third eye on on on, on his own country, that for me is punishable by the worst mm -hmm. uh, punishment possible. All right. Now to bring it into what you have said, um. Well, America is world power. I say that. And to, in fact, to that extent, I'm sympathetic, actually. I have to be honest. I'm sympathetic to America as, as a country because of, the, because of values. Okay. So, but, and again, we know that, um, if you, if you are such a big giant, okay, sitting on top of the global world order, there is, an, it is inevitable that you must have tentacles, if you know what I mean, spread across mm. eyes and ears. Yeah. It is only, it, it is mm. in, in the modern world, it is inevitable. inevitable. In fact, it's one of the reasons America's, America, one of America's strongest allies is Israel. Because Israel is particularly good in human intel. Okay? The, and that's even the hardest part of it. Satellite intel, signal intel, and so on. You know, but in terms of human intel, the Mossad is very good at it. You have the Mossad, you have. So, the, if our president has ticked the boxes, and it will not be fair for us to just assume that because you take the boxes, he is one of them. Let me give you an example. You school there, you work there. Typically, if you're smart, if you're very smart, and have the capacity to be dirty, you are, you, 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 you make a good candidate for, for their, you know, for that sort of work. Because it means you can, you are smart and you can enter a lot of places and do a lot of things. Yeah, so, yes, but is there anybody that goes to America to school that is recruited? No. Is there anybody that is dirty that they need? No. Is there anybody that is smart and dirty that they also need? No. Our uh, president schooled in America, yes. He worked in America, yes. <clears throat> he has interest in America, I want to believe so. But to say that because of that, or because of what they call what the what the FBI and CIA said, would the to even ask is when they said that what did the judge now tell us? What it seems the judge has not yeah, so let's wait for yes, yeah, so so, so the judge has to now respond. What do you mean yes. by a national security breach? Yes. What do you mean? Mm. So that was the explain. That's why I, I'm saying that let's not run, run, rush to judge our president and say, because this is a, you know what it means? It is bad enough that there is, it's a record that he forfeited the drug. Did you see how the president was forfeited in South Africa? To even get the handshake from the one well, president. Well, in Saudi Arabia. Well, no, a deputy governor. Deputy governor, yeah. So, so these are issues that you, let's not repeat that line that the president is a, all right. So just before we wind up for today, Emeka, I would love to ask um, what's the repercussion of some of these things, especially to um, the diplomacy Nigeria has with other nations of, of the world. Mm. And um, secondly, uh, what do you think domestically um, could this change the dynamics of uh, polity in Nigeria? No, 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 no. Those ones are more interested in that's each it's used by their welfare than uh, you know. <coughs> the point is just that, well, like I said, I repeat it that this matter had to do with a certain time in Bolatin Bull's life. So the matter is still on for them to release all the records about the investigation. One. Two, don't forget he's the chairman of that court. So it will be of interest to the CIA. You know, look at how the United States and France try to push him to leave West Africa, you know, to invade Nigeria. Nigeria. But thank God he listened to good advice 
from even people like David Hunday. Don't forget it was Hunday who kept releasing, you know, hot takes on how Nigeria was preparing to go, and that it would have been a disaster for Nigeria if we had dared to invade the Nigeria Republic. Would have been up against a cataclysmic response. So, <clears throat> to that extent, <clears throat> don't forget it was a big slap in the face of the United States and France mm. that they had to leave, they had to move their troops out. That was a big slap. Very true. You know, just like when they had to run away from Afghanistan, you know, the US had not recovered from that up till now. You know, so to that extent, yes, it will be of interest. The CIA and but since the matter is in court, I would prefer to you know wait. And yes, let's let's yeah proceedings yes. unfold. Yeah. Then when the court now makes a final judgment, we may be this year or maybe next year or whenever, then we will now come to that point. But the tweets by that that I was mm. to me was really was really it's unwise. Unfortunate. It was unwise. It was unwise because it was trying to like reduce something that was clearly said, court findings, to market gist. And that doesn't speak well of the caliber of people, you know, working with the president on issues like information. It doesn't speak well at all. All right. Okay, um, that's just about the size of our package for today. We want to believe right here on Enterprise Television that everything we discussed here. Um, we want to believe uh, they are not, uh, we want to believe uh, they might not be uh, uh, factual. That is what we want to believe. But because it, it's made um, a public domain, and that's the reason, the main reason why we're even having this discussion in the first place. I would love to believe that you would understand our vantage point on this uh, particular uh, matter. Um, thank you so very much, gentlemen, for being part of it. And we truly do um, thank you for, of course, uh, giving your thought, your two cents on, on all. And thank you also for um, being there for us. We truly want to appreciate you. But please do well to check up on us. You can always find us at enterprise.tvnews.com. You may like, comment respectfully on this matter and more. And equally follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV7. I am Henry e I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.